All that it means is this. The first number on your MasterCard is a number five. Now, MasterCard will be issued with a two. What that means is that your credit card terminal, your virtual terminal, your gateway, they need to be able to understand that so that you can accept cards that start with a number two. But here's the good news. The majority of credit card processors have been on this for a long time. If you accept credit cards in an e-commerce environment, so you're using authorized.net, NMI, or another type of gateway, they're gonna make the change for you on the back end. It's not a big deal. If you're using a virtual terminal type of environment, once again, the virtual terminal provider has known about this for a long time, and they should be making that change for you. It shouldn't be a big deal. The general rule of thumb is if you can accept a chip card right now, the file download in your credit card terminal will also accept BIN2. Right now, a lot of our merchants are getting fear-based sales calls. These calls are coming in to get them to switch to a new provider. Rest assured, the majority of providers out there have been working on this, making sure that you're gonna be in a good place. So don't be nervous, don't be afraid. If you are worried about that, give your provider a call. Ask them to take a look at your file, take a look at how you're accepting credit cards and make sure that you're ready to go for the BIN2 update. Thank you for taking time to watch this video about the MasterCard BIN2 update. If you have any questions about it, please give me a call or shoot me an email. I'm happy to talk to you about it.